One of the advantages of the IB is that its qualification is recognised by universities around the world. The University of Rochester in New York State, however, not only recognises it, but actively encourages students who have completed their IB diploma to apply. The university supports the IB and this year hosted the IB World Student Conference. We sent our reporter to Rochester in New York State to find out more. Martin Luther King Jr., when he talked about the civil rights movement, that sounded radical to people. So he said, this is about the Declaration of Independence. This is about the Constitution. The University of Rochester. Some 200 international baccalaureate students attend the opening session of their annual conference. The speaker is an Iraq war veteran turned peace activist. Paul Chappelle's challenge to these teenagers? Well, future generations view some of our world as despicable as slavery, like nuclear weapons and climate change. The students transpose this concept to their world. I'd like to know how you should approach empathizing and respecting someone who is, in your opinion, unable to empathize or respect others. There, there's some people you can't ever convince. This International Baccalaureate, or IB, zero-based thinking encourages the students to examine their beliefs and opens young minds to new ideas and a world of opportunities. 17-year-old Giovanni Figueroa lives in Sacramento. I like to make myself known and just like actually be more involved and like as an IB student, I don't, I just don't do education and just like, I know it's hard being an IB student but I also, I also have a social life that's really good at school and I help out with community service. Assuming now I'm in the U.S. and I want to use Google India, do I have to like change to like the Indian Google yeah. server? At this conference, hosted a second time by the University of Rochester, the students divided up for a critical part of the IB program, project-based discussion and study group with other students. IB teachers praised the program because of the motivated students. Steve Smith teaches geography in New Zealand at the Takapuna School. The International Baccalaureate program has been part of his school's curriculum for five years. They have to be creative, they have to be active, they have to have a service attribute to their, to their diploma as well. And also they do a, a course called the Theory of Knowledge where they think about what knowledge is and how you learn and, and how we know certain things. So I think they get a really diverse set of skills that maybe other kids don't get. Once IB high school students enter college, most do well, having already gone through the program's rigorous academic and social learning. These University of Rochester students are all IB graduates and all have 3.0 to 3.5 grade point averages. They say that IB prepares you for life, not just for academics. So uh, coming to college, I realized this is more what it is. Sometimes I do get stressed, but you know, in the beginning I wasn't as stressed because I felt you know, ready to conquer the education curriculum at the University of Rochester. And I can say IB you know, did good to me. For me, it was more academic um, prior to Taking IB, uh, I had limited experience with uh, rigorous academics. And then taking the IB, I felt like it uh, very much prepared me for the rigorous um, curriculum at Rochester. Those students who complete the International Baccalaureate program and training certainly seem better prepared for college and the real world. And here at the University of Rochester, school administrators believe it's a symbiotic relationship that the university benefits from having those students on campus. When they come onto this campus, they have that expectation that they're going to connect and work and merge with other people and do things in group projects and succeed in more dimensions than just class by class, grade by grade. And so that shows. They show up as student leaders. They show up as uh, good friends and colleagues. They're the kind of students that other students like to know that feel like they challenge them. I can count on the IB students, both the Americans and the international students, sort of helping to lead us to do something new. Because we're trying to be so international here that people no longer think, okay, how can we adapt American circumstances to help international students? What I want people is to come in and say, given all the best things we know from all these other countries and all the best things we know about American education, how can we build something new and better that's a combination of both that serves everybody? So a real globally minded kind of student body. Involvement in a global college that carries over into these students' lives in the many home countries served by international baccalaureate graduates. 